What's going on YouTube Zap here and I'm back with episode number 14 of the Zap Talk series. Let's not waste too much time and go ahead and get into answering some of you guys' questions this episode because we have quite a few of them. So this first one comes from Illyrian Horizon. He asks, do you feel like the season pass business model is a scam? Um, yes and no to a certain degree. I feel as though if a company is already like if they, if if they feel like their their game is going to have DLC that could, you know, be released within like the first month or two of a game being put out, then I think that put, making a season pass for it is kind of a jip because I think that you could easily just delay your game and have that content put into the game rather than force your, your consumers to buy it later on separately from the game, you know what I mean? That's how I feel about it. But, you know, for some games like, let's say, The Last of Us, for instance, The Last of Us has spread out their DLC relatively thin, you know, uh, very, very well spread out, and none of the DLC actually felt like it was, you know, rushed or just put out just for the sake of getting money off of people. I think that the DLC was very well made for The Last of Us and there was a lot of detail that went along with it. So I don't feel as though I'm, I've been cheated. However, you look at games like, you know, Battlefield and Call of Duty and uh, several other games that put out, you know, the season pass model, Titanfall even, the season pass model, and you think, you think to yourself, like, why wasn't this DLC put in with the game at launch, or even Killzone for that matter, you know what I'm saying? Um, why wasn't the DLC put into the game at launch, you know? Why am I having to buy this separately and pad you guys' pockets? So, yeah. Yes and no, I feel like the, the season pass business model is a scam. But, you know, it is what it is. I, we can't really change that, and I think going forward, it's just going to stay the same yeah or probably even get worse so we'll see how that goes um this one comes from ao swag he asks did you ever play the metal gear solid series also do you like stealth games if so which ones i have played the metal gear solid games i played one two skipped three because i did not have a ps2 um and i played number four on ps3 the only one that i actually beat was Metal Gear Solid 2. I had it on the original Xbox. And... Or was it the 360? Uh, didn't they re-release that on the 360? I can't remember, man. That's gonna bother me. But I did play Metal Gear Solid 2 on... on Xbox. I, th I believe I finished that one uh, in Skip 3. Yeah, so... I'm not really too big on um, stealth games in general, so yeah, I, I hate stealth games. I hate having to play slowly the entire uh, length of the game. It's just not my my style, you know. I'm not saying that I like to go complete aggro all the time and you know go guns a blazing like I'm playing Army of Two or something, but yeah, I I just I don't like playing slowly all the time. So I'm not really too big on stealth games to be honest with you. Um, this next one comes from Jacoby Bryan. He asks, do you play Call of Duty? And if so, do you have any tips on quick scoping? Hell no, I don't play Call of Duty. I, I think Call of Duty has pretty much uh, worn itself out for me. I haven't touched a Call of Duty since Modern Warfare 3. Uh, however, they did put out um, free multiplayer for Call of Duty Ghosts over the weekend, this past weekend. And... Um, I played a little bit of it and it's still the same thing, you know, I, it sucks. But I haven't purchased a Call of Duty game since Modern Warfare 3 and I don't think I'm ever going to buy another Call of Duty ever again. I think it's terrible and, you know, everyone complains about it but everyone continues to buy the games every single year so at this point I'm just kind of sick of everybody complaining about COD. Uh, and then turning around and contradicting themselves and buying the next one. So, but yeah, I I'm not a fan of Call of Duty at all. 
Um, this one comes from Slim Day Day 82. He asks, Zap, would you consider playing some League of Legends? I have played League of Legends a few times. However, I don't like League, but I love Dota. I play the hell out. I I can play the hell out of some Dota. I I'm not that great at Dota, but I prefer it over League of Legends. I think League of Legends is just too casual compared to Dota. I like Dota because it seems like there's a steeper learning curve to it. I like the challenge, so yeah. Um, League of Legends is for pussies. Uh, this next one comes from Noah Maynard, and he asks, uh, "Do you prefer the PS4 over the PS3, or vice versa? And does PC beat both of them?" Well, does PC beat both of them? That is completely subjective. Graphically, PC can probably beat both of them. Actually, it can. Uh, you know, if you if you buy the right parts, yes. Uh, a PC does run better than a PS4 and a PS3. There's no question. A PC can run with with the best hardware you can possibly buy for a PC. There is no console on the market right now that can match what a PC can do from a visual standpoint as well as a performance standpoint. Now you talk about games, that's a totally different story. That's all a matter of opinion. Me personally, I think the exclusives that I get on my PS3 are better than any of the exclusives I've ever played on a PC. That's just me. But as far as the PS4 versus PS3, uh, the PS4 hasn't really been out that long, so I can't really tell you which I think is better, uh, as of yet anyway but I have more games and more things to actually do on my PS3 as opposed to the PS4 at the moment. Yeah. But with uh, more games, I'm pretty sure the PS4 will end up being better than the PS3. Uh, this, ne this next one comes from fnoel124. He asks, what's your overall opinion of The Walking Dead Season 4? I gotta try to answer that without ruining anything for people who haven't seen it, but I enjoyed the hell out of The Walking Dead Season 4. I thought it was very well done. The ending left you in a cliffhanger, but you know that Season 5 is going to start off really strong. And shit's going to get real. But I like the way that they told everyone's individual stories uh, after the events of the prison and things like that. So, yeah, I enjoyed uh, Season 4 of The Walking Dead a lot. And I'm highly anticipating season five this next one comes from julio martinez and he asks what are your thoughts on the last of us and will you go back to it i love the last of us the last of us is still my favorite game of last gen and i will be going back to the last of us because as many of you guys know there is a new dlc coming out for it i believe this upcoming tuesday if i'm not mistaken i could be wrong but it's coming up real freaking soon so I will be playing the multiplayer and um, I will probably get the PS4 version of it when it comes out as well. You know, so brand new audience I can play with in uh, The Last of Us and more experiences I can have with the game uh, moving forward. But yeah, The Last of Us is my favorite game of last gen and it is still one of my favorite games of all time. Uh... This next one comes from Springs02. He asks, uh, what video games did you think had the best music? And how do you feel about on-disc DLC? Well, as far as the music goes, I would say um, my favorite video game music probably comes from the Streets of Rage games as well as the Sonic the Hedgehog games. The Sonic games have that, you know, as soon as you hear the opening notes, you're like, oh snap, I remember this stage. And then like there's like one particular moment about the stage that you remember that was probably frustrating or really fun to you. You know, so I like Sonic music for that particular reason. Um, and how do I feel about on disc DLC? I think it's bullshit. And Capcom is probably the worst perpetrator of that with the whole, you know, uh, debacle with the Street Fighter Cross Tekken characters already being on the disc. And but for those of you guys who don't know, 
what he means by on disc DLC is like the game has already been put out uh, and there is stuff on the disc that is locked that you can't access like it could be new stages new game modes uh, new characters whatever the case may be but it's on the disc but you can't use any of it until it gets put out as DLC quote unquote uh, Resident Evil 5 had it Street Fighter Cross Tekken had it and I believe Marvel vs. Capcom 3 Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom 3 had it with um, with uh, Shumo Garath and Jill Valentine being DLC on there they were already on the disc, but until it got put out as DLC, you couldn't access it, so... Yeah, that sucked. But, yeah, I think it's terrible. I, I can't stand that. This next one comes from AO Swag again. He says, uh, what made you want to learn how to play Cody and M. Bison in Super Street Fighter 4 out of the whole roster? Well, I have terrible execution in fighting games. I'm not really good with movements and things like that on the joystick so I stick with relatively easy characters to use. Cody's really easy, Bison's really easy, Raven and Injustice is really easy so yeah I use those characters because I have terrible execution. I have decent reactions to stuff but my execution is garbage. <laughs> That's pretty much how that goes. And let's see do we have time for one more? Yes we'll do one more. This last one comes from the Toaster Taco. He asks, will you be uploading or streaming The Last of Us when the new DLC comes out? Yes, yes I will. I will be not only streaming, but I will also be uploading as well. So, um, yeah, keep an eye out for that. I have another Injustice video getting ready to come out for you guys shortly after this. So, uh, stay tuned. Thank you guys for watching. And, um, I will see you on the flip side. Peace.